Well, hello everyone. Today I'm talking about something uh, of Nix, but not on Nix OS, but on the Darwin, aka Mac OS. Uh, so uh, there's a uh, there are a lot more people think that Wayland is actually imposing Linuxism, but in fact uh, I saw that in late 2021 uh, we have a, a pull request that has been merged, which is called FreeBSD support. So if Wayland is supported on FreeBSD, so why not on other platforms? So uh, I have a first merge request to the Mac OS. And afterwards, there are also OpenBSD stuff and NetBSD stuff. So I don't know when they, they will be merged. And uh, uh, the main issues while porting Wayland to uh, Mac OS is that so So some uh, specific macro linker errors since macOS is not imposing ELF formats. So the first two uh, issues have been resolved by the FreeBSD pull request uh, by introducing a package called EvoShim, uh, which has gained macOS support uh, this August. And for the second issue, I simply use the uh, constant uh, that is defined for FreeBSD. I, added, uh, I just define it again for Darwin. And for the SOC uh, close on exec, uh, I define another constant, uh, same as above. And you can, uh, you can see it. I and uh, unfortunately, for all the Wayland applications, uh, we have to do the same thing again and again. So uh, the way to resolve this is to use a setup hook. So a setup hook is something that you write once, and each time you put a package in the pull, in the build rip, build inputs, it will be executed, and your package will be automatically fixed by simply adding compile flags against the EvoShim library and add linker flags against it. And uh, uh, these features not only include uh, the features that I have uh, resolved here, but also other Linux specific functions like, uh, like Pi2 or something like this. And uh, finally, uh, after having all those Wayland applications, we still need to solve the problem of displaying it on macOS, since macOS is, uh, is, is different. It already has a cross backend. Uh, the, I simply used uh, the old composer from Bogev. Uh, he actually wrote his own old composer not only for legacy versions of macOS, but also uh, for a system which is called New Herd. And uh, I packaged this, applica this application. It's quite easy, but uh, the problem is that it is impure in my implementation that you will uh, see soon afterwards. Uh, I think one of the solutions is to compile the NIP files that, that should, have, uh, should have been compiled uh, using IB tools to XIB files uh, or inversely. Uh, but the problem is that IB tools is uh, not open source and is, uh, and is uh, shipped in Xcode, so you cannot uh, use it uh, freely. And the second thing is the Linux support is broken. I do not know how to uh, solve it correctly using USAP, and help is really needed. And finally, uh, for those who cannot uh, see what the, uh, for, for those who are uh, uh, but simply what is happening. And for all the people here, uh, I don't know if I can find a terminal here. It's pretty small, but if I launch the old compositor, uh, I think you, see, you can see that there's an icon here, and maybe I should launch all with this. And I'm going to launch a terminal, uh, a minimal terminal for Wayland that is called Havoc. Uh, that type, uh, Havoc. You'll see there, here is a window that uh, is shown, and maybe I'll need to uh, enable server side decorations and put this full screen. And it's still small, but I can run a no fetch. 
And you can see that the WM is different from the, the course. It's, it comes actually from the package that is called all the Wayland Composer. And thank you very much.